What is up Madden 25 gamers? Welcome to today's video. Today we're going to be talking about how to beat the Blitz in Madden 25 uh, from the Arizona Cardinals playbook. Uh, the play we like to use is the halfback wheel. And uh, we're going to show you a couple of varieties of Blitzes here, but uh, we're mainly going to focus on uh, Blitzes from that are actually very effective in real life, or not in real life, but in real game. Uh, so what we want to do with uh, this Blitz is we want to man a line, we want to press coverage, crash line down, and then we'll just go through the cycle setup, whatever. But I uh, just want to kind of give you a quick glimpse of what I like to do with this. So I'll just drop a hook here, drop a flat or purple. I'll drop a flat here, and then I'll drop a purple to the left. And this is a pretty good cover zero blitz um, for the most part. So uh, should get pressure off that left edge. What we like to do with this is we like to put Nelson on a smart routed out route. When we see this press alignment, uh, our first read is going to be Starks. If they're backed off, our first read will be Nelson. But here, since they're pressed up, our first read is Starks. And you see uh, he does a pretty decent job of, of getting open, um, even though uh, the defense did a pretty good job there also of, of kind of holding him down. Uh, let's take a look at that one more time here. So I'll drop McDonald into the flat, but it was actually Willis who kind of stayed with him. Now, when they do that, though, we like to place uh, Jones here on an in route or a drag route, depending on your preference, but even with even the even the drag gets good separation. And you see we can beat we can beat the blitz that way. Um, another thing that we can do to beat the blitz here is we can take advantage of the press alignment and the no safety over top. And one way I like to do that is to audible. And this is just an advanced tip to kind of bring it all together. But I'll audible to my gun trips and I have this close fade flood in my audibles. And remember we talked about it a couple videos ago when you have a set within a set that's a tight set, when you audible to it and you put that receiver on a streak immediately, you see how the cornerback just kind of stays inside. And this is going to be an easy lob pass lead up. And, of course, I make my I make a good play look terrible sometimes. But uh, you see, what I'm, I'm trying to just show you this quickly. But uh, here we'll show it to you the correct way because I did it incorrectly the first time. But basically, you're just going to wait. You're going to step up in the pocket, and then you can use or catch it. Um, and of course, again, I uh, I am not on my A game today. But like I said, it, it does work really well. It, it's just um, there it is. So you see the lob pass over top. So anyway, uh, but that's something you could do if they take the safety away, uh, or if they press up. Now that's just a, a little advanced thing that you can do, and that's kind of what brings the scheme together, and it kind of still allows the HB wheel to be good. Um, but another thing that you can do is just wait for that thing to come up and you see how it gets open. So for whatever reason, that will route, I'm telling you, they could be man aligned, base aligned. The only thing that really, that really I feel like can hold this route down is something like this. So they would base align, they would drop a flat zone. Okay, so if they did that, you see how that, that guy kind of sits there underneath it. But when you see that, that's when you adjust and you call um, or you just continue to read through your progressions so here we're going to do the same thing and this time they're going to stop the hp wheel route but watch boykin should run wide open over the top over the top and again now you see why we use different routes in combination with one another so just a lot of different things here uh real quick if they are backed off you see you have that out route uh, we really like out routes this year just like last year just pass lead them down into the outside against backed off coverage and typically you're going to be successful uh, unless it's a zone. Now let's take a look at a zone blitz. So a zone blitz typically, uh, the, depending on the, the side that it's weak, typically the flats are going to be open. So we're going to drop, we're going to drop a purple over to try to stop that in a hook zone. And basically here, now you're going to see uh, this route to Jones come underneath the zone. Uh, but you should also be able to fit that route into the back. Um, that's another thing that you should be able to do. And it goes back to what we were talking about earlier, where they have to kind of commit to taking away that route to the back. So here they're going to drop a, per, um, a flat, a buzz, maybe a, maybe a little hook zone. And I just screwed up the whole play. So one sec here. Maybe they'll drop something like this. So they'll drop a hook purple flat and they'll read deep blue this guy over the top and they just get really adjusted with it but um, anyway what I'm trying to show you 
is that once they drop that flat, that's going to kind of take away this, this play, but you should still be able to get that route in uh, to to the um, to the to the player over here on the uh, the deep in route. So, for example, for uh, for this example, Boykin should be wide open. Uh, once they drop that flat, you see that the purple zone won't stay with him for whatever reason. So you can kind of lean on that to kind of take you uh, to the next level. But that's just kind of again we're ba basing everything off of adjustments. And of course, you can adjust some routes. Uh, I've been liking this little zig route to R1. It gets underneath most zones. But uh, just some basic principles, guys. I didn't want to get too in-depth with it. I ended up getting a little bit more in-depth than I wanted to. And I might have ended up confusing some people. Um, but what I'm trying to get at is when they, when they take away the wheel route, typically this circle route is going to be open at the top of its break. Um, it's just up to you to kind of stand in the pocket long enough to get rid of it. Um, so let's show that one more time and then we'll get out of here uh, for today. You see, stay in the pocket and you see you can deliver that big back breaker out to Boykin. But uh, this is also, I mean, you want to be mixing things up, of course, and you can go to all sorts of different plays like this deep curls play. It's the same formation. and uh, But now you have this route to Cobb. So just a lot of other things you want to do, but you want to focus on quick flat passes and quick slants, something like this. So uh, basically one thing I also have done before is, is zig route at Randall Cobb, and that's because, again, I want that quick read. And against zone, it's really good. Um, so here we'll sh set up a, a zone blitz, but you should see that these routes are going to pick off each other. And they're really going to work really well now, especially, uh, and that was just kind of, I just wanted to show you that route. But what's going to happen is when they, when they drop the flat purple and do all this extra adjustment stuff, and it really is a lot of adjustments to really have to make, though, anyway. But um, when they do, you have, see how you have that little underneath hitch route to come. And that's something I wanted to show. But anyway, uh, that's a lot of information, and I hope that you found something and it was beneficial. If you did, uh, leave a like rating. If, you, if, if something was unclear and you have a question, let me know in the comments below. Uh, but thanks for your time, and check out our next defensive video.